This video is a KuCoin trading bot tutorial. I am going to show you everything that you need to know about all of the KuCoin trading bots. So if you follow along by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use all of the trading bots that are available on KuCoin. If you do not yet have a KuCoin account, I will leave my link down in the description so that you can go ahead and sign up with KuCoin. With that link, you can claim a 10% discount on all of your trading fees, as well as getting up to $700 in initial bonuses for signing up with KuCoin. So to jump into the trading bot right here, you can see that we currently have six trading bots that are available right now on KuCoin. We have the Spot Grid, the Futures Grid, the Martingale, Smart Rebalance, Infinity Grid, and DCA. And I will go through each of these individually. So starting off with the Spot Grid, the spot grid is going to aim to effectively buy and sell at dips in the market and peaks in the market so that you can scalp and make profits whichever way the price goes. I will pull up trading view right here so that I can show you how this bot works. So the first thing that you will notice is the bot has a predetermined set of price that it is going to trade between. The automatic on this is set between 24,000 and 44,000. So if I just add some lines, we would be trading in this range right here from 22,000 all the way up to $44,000. So this is the price range that the predetermined bot would be trading in. This range right here is going to be made up with lots of different buy and sell grids. And in this grid, we are going to have a bunch of buy lines where if price hits this, it is going to buy the coin. And we are also going to have a bunch of sell lines as well. So let's just act out how the Bitcoin price might look. So let's say that Bitcoin dips to this line right here. The bot is automatically going to buy at this line. We would then have a sell line above. So if price dips down, it would then come up to there. And this is where the bot would sell. And as you can see in this grid, as it would be called right here, we bought at this point and we sold at this point, making a profit then price may come all the way down to hit this line. We then buy, it bumps us back up to this take profit line. And once again, we had another profitable trade right here. So that is effectively how the bot works. We have a bunch of different buy and sell lines that are trading in between a certain predetermined price range. Now, the reason that we have a particular price range that is already set, and the reason that we don't just trade over the entire chart is because it's not always going to be as simple as price hits a buy line and then jumps straight up to a sell line to make profit. A more realistic look of this would be, it goes down all the way down to here and then we can sell at this line, then it goes back up and we sell at this line as well. So we need to keep a certain amount of money on hold that we use to buy at certain elements when price comes down to here and here and here and here. So we need money to make sure that we have enough funds to cover all the way down. So this is where it could be a good idea to potentially go ahead and change the parameters for if you are trading more short term, you might want to go ahead and just make this price range in between 36,000 right here. And on the low end, we can set this to maybe 30,000. And you can see that is a much smaller price range right here that we could be trading in. And this means that more of the funds that we have allocated to this bot are going to go into each trade. Now, one other thing that I do want to mention about the spot grid specifically is that because we are trading with spot and we are not using futures, we are not using margin to trade. This means that our trades are only going to be going long because we cannot short the market as we are not using margin or futures which means that the spot grid right here is only really going to perform and actually turn out a profit in a bull market when the price is going up. Alternatively, this is where we have the futures grid. Now the futures grid, the base algorithm underneath this is the same thing. The way that it works with all of these buy and sell points littered throughout is the exact same. The only difference between the futures grid and the spot grid is we are now trading with margin, which increases risk, of course. It does mean that we can get liquidated, but at the same time, it also means that not only can we buy, but we can also go ahead and short the market, which means that no matter what, in either a bear market or a bull market, we still have a chance of making profit. Now, when it comes to actually creating the bot for either of the spot or the futures grid, 
you can either go for the automatic parameters that are set out by the Qcoin AI. Personally, I think this is a better way of going about things because the Qcoin algorithm has a lot of data about the price points about where to buy and sell. So it's usually going to do a better job of turning a profit than if you go over to custom and you set your own parameters. In the auto feature, as I said, the parameters are already laid out. So all you need to do is enter in the investment that you would like to make. Choose whether you want to go short or go long, depending on how you think the market will go. Then you can go ahead and click create, and that is going to create the grid bot. Alternatively, you can go over to custom, where you can create your own parameters. So we can go in here and create our own price range. So I might want to say between 32,000 and 40,000. I want a much smaller price range. We can also choose the number of orders placed per day. So that could be like 30. And as you can see, the grid lines are then going to fill in. We can choose whether we want to long or short, as well as choosing the amount of leverage using this button right here to choose how much leverage we actually want to trade with. Once again, you then enter in the amount of an investment that you would like to make in this bot. Click on create and then you can go through and have your bot to run. The next bot that I want to cover is the Martingale bot. Now, the Martingale bot is one of my personal favorite bots to trade. And this is because the bot is going to average down as we go through. So as an example, we can see this is the hourly chart right here. And these are the current parameters that we have set out. So the idea is that we make a market purchase right here. And then if price goes up, sweet, we just go ahead and take profit. However, if the market goes against us and goes down to this level, we then make another investment and we actually buy more in order to get the average cost of each coin that we bought to go down. Now, you will also notice that we have a multiple for position increase, which means that every time we make a new purchase at one of these levels, the amount that we buy is going to go up. And the reason that we do this is to get the average price of each coin that we bought to go down. So the idea here is if, if Bitcoin goes like this, we bounce off this level, we bounce off this level, we bounce off this level, it goes down. We started here with our first purchase at 34,220. But the time we get down to here, the price is probably going to be somewhere around here. This is not accurate. It's just an explanation to show you how the bot works. And then let's say the price actually comes back and makes it to this level, goes beyond this. We can now sell in this area for a profit. Now you can go over to this right hand side and you can change the parameters here. So we can change the percentage drop for us to actually increase the position. So we can go for 2%. And then as you can see, these lines will get more spread out. We can also choose the maximum number of position increases before we just take the loss and sell out. So we could increase this to 10. And that's just going to add more lines to the chart as well. We can also choose the multiple for position increase. So this is how hard you actually want to average down at each level. You can select that here. And then we can also choose the amount of profit that we are aiming to make with each of these trades. So I could go ahead and set this to like 3%. And what that means is as soon as we are 3% in profit, the bot is going to sell and we are going to take profits at that level. We once again just then need to go down here, select the amount of investment that you would like to make, and then you can go ahead and run that bot. The Smart Rebalance is also a very cool bot. And this is, if you imagine creating a cryptocurrency ETF, that is effectively what this bot does. You can create your own portfolio of cryptocurrency coins, and the bot is automatically going to rebalance that portfolio to whichever percentage you choose. Now, if we look on the left-hand side of this, we have some portfolios that we can pre-choose, and these are some of the most popular portfolios on the Qcoin platform. For example, with this one, we can see this has 18,000 people that are currently invested into this. And if we click on this, we can see all of the coins that are in this ETF, so to speak. So if I was to go with this one right here, we can see it's made up of Aave, Uniswap, Chainlink, and AVAX. We can click on copy and create. And then over on this right hand side, 
it's going to show us all of the coins that we have in this, once again, ETF, so to speak. And then we can choose how these are balanced. So we can go with an AI balance where the AI is going to choose what balance of these coins we have. We can go for equal, which is just going to buy an equal amount of each coin. Or we can choose to sort this by market cap, where the higher the market cap of the coin, the bigger the percentage of the portfolio it is going to take. So we can go ahead, as I say, and choose from any of these pre-built options right here. Or you can go ahead and create your own ETF by clicking on the coin list on this left hand side and then going down and adding your own crypto coins. So I'm going to choose to make this portfolio out of Bitcoin. I'm just going to add this right there. I'm going to add some Ethereum. And then I also want to add some Uniswap to this. And then the final coin that I am going to choose is the SAND token. Once your portfolio has been made up, once again, we can choose how to balance these by using all of these markers at the top, or you can manually adjust each of these balances to make up your portfolio yourself. Once that has all been selected, once again, we can just go down and choose how much we want to invest into this portfolio, click on create, and that is going to create the smart rebalance bot. The infinity grid is similar to the spot grid in terms of how it works, where we are buying and selling for like scalps as the price moves. The only difference is, is that the infinity grid does not have a predetermined price range. Now with this, because of the fact that this does not have a predetermined price range, it does require a bigger investment for you to actually go into this. If we take a look at the spot grid right here, we can see the minimum investment is 60 USDT, whereas the infinity grid is more than double that at 195 as the minimum investment that you can make. We also have the DCA bot, this stands for dollar cost average, and this is the best bot to use if you are an investor of cryptocurrency rather than a trader, and you want to dollar cost average into the market at certain times. Now, dollar cost averaging is a very, very popular investment strategy, and it just means that you are buying cryptocurrency at certain intervals, no matter the price, because you are holding this for the long term. What we can do here is, of course, choose the coin that we would like to make the investment into. I will go for Ethereum in this example. We can choose how often we want to invest into this coin, ranging all the way from every hour all the way up to two weeks. So for example, I can say I want to buy Ethereum no matter the price every week. And every time I buy Ethereum, I want to buy $100 worth of Ethereum every single week. That is just going to stock up your account right there. It means that you don't have to keep coming back and placing the trades manually. And the only thing you have to keep an eye on is making sure your available balance on KuCoin is sufficiently funded. Now that is how you can use all of the trading bots on KuCoin. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.